I'm very uh, appreciative of the opportunities Purdue uh, gave me in those early days. I left Purdue and was at another university for 22 years. There's something about Purdue that draws you back. And so I came back 10 years ago as uh, the head of the current department I'm in, and it's been a great uh, time since then. So I'm passionate about Purdue. I, I owe a lot to Purdue. I'm a relentless advocate for Purdue, and I think a relentless fundraiser for Purdue, and I want to continue that uh, as provost. I think the first job uh, is really a team with the president and the president, executive vice president for finance and treasury. So that'll be one of the early things is to get to know them better, understand the role. I've had some obviously some meetings with them to talk about that. Second part is the academic mission and its quality. Where, where are our programs going? How are they doing? How do we review them rigorously and make decisions on how they can improve? And the academic mission, the purview of the provost, has a, a variety of dimensions. Certainly students, their quality, and faculty, their quality. Programs and budgets, certainly there's some activity in the budget area. Capital projects, we all work together to provide the facilities the students and faculty need. The provost is really the advocate with the leadership team and the board of trustees, I think, for the academic mission and its quality. Now, how would someone succeed in a position like this? And I, I really think of it as a bandwidth problem. There are so many different things going on and so many different stakeholders and so many different constituents. And the good news is, I represent almost all our stakeholders. I was a student, I'm an alum, a faculty member, an administrator, a taxpayer, not a trustee, but most of the, most of the stakeholders I have a stake in myself. And that's a very broad base. So the first thing is listening and observing, but it's really a multi-scale problem as you think of physics. At one extreme, it's the individual student who comes into the office, and we all know this, who has a particular problem and a particular neat point of view that we didn't understand, we didn't think about. So it's one-on-one -on -one listening. At the other extreme, it's listening to the, let's call it the state, the taxpayers, the sense of the, of, of the residents of Indiana. They have a, a voice. And everything in between, it's groups, it's organizations. I mentioned... I think it's very important to get people on board. You know, there's a there's a thread, of, of, of an ether of sort of fairness and sensibility among the faculty and staff at Purdue. And, you know, we have to make some decisions that aren't that popular. But generally, when you sit down and say, you know, here are the, here are the bad set of options that I had, that we had, and we got to choose one of these. And here's the one we, we had to choose. So I think that process and having a process of transparency is important. And finally, I think uh, you know this job and, and most of our administrative jobs would be about you know not sort of managing incremental change, but initiating strategic change. And I think that's an important area. Now, what sort of things would I envision happening the first year? Uh, it's it's going to happen quickly. We hope Randy stays. A long time, but uh, so I think the first thing is get to know the teams, the the leadership team in the provost office, Franz Al, I, I know them to some degree, worked with them, but uh, certainly more. Then I think there's going to be lots of activity on the budget and budget projections, and certainly uh, I, I see some colleagues from the uh, the uh, sustaining new synergies committee here today, and uh, so we'll have a lot to work. To do in that, we've got to get the options out, we've got to explain them very clearly, we've got to make some tough decisions, and then move forward on those. That's what we're about. I think we can do it. I think in my time at Purdue, as a student, as a faculty member, as an administrator, this is a place that just rolls up our sleeves and finds the funding and gets the job done. So I think we can do it. I'd be very pleased to work with you and make it happen. So thank you and very pleased to answer.